We have uh, Gary V coming on. No, he did not answer the question. He sure did. Gary Howard. V is here. Howard. What's up, man? How are we doing? Go and sit right in there. Oh, Gary V, known, uh, he's an entrepreneur. He's all over social media, and he is a fan of one of the worst franchises in the NFL. It's Gary V. Is that how hey. starting this shit? Well, I mean, <laughs> the Jets... When I last saw you, yes. it was I think it was right after the Monday Night Football Dude, what, game. Dude, what the fuck with this mustache? Yeah, you like it? I love it. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. I, I, was, I was nervous there for yeah. a second. Yeah, go ahead. It was right after the Monday Night Football game, Sam Darnold uh, in Detroit. You were going crazy. Yep. You, were, you took over Detroit. Yep. And at that moment, the 2018 New York Jets peaked. Fine. And then all downhill from there. I wouldn't say that. And now you have a new coach who uh, did an introductory press conference that it looked like he was being held hostage. So it's nice that you guys were able to make a couple of cents and some viral content as yep. we roll out. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we do. Okay. Yes. So uh, what, what do you think about your new coach? What do you think about your quarterback? Are you still a Sam Darnold guy? Oh, yeah. I, I fundamentally, and I'm glad I get to put it on the record because I know you get so much viewership. I genuinely believe they'll be disproportionately successful. Okay, what does that mean? I think that Adam Gaze is a big time quarterback guru and there's tons of data to support it from John Kitna to Brock Oswaller, not just fucking Manning. Like these names are yeah. not helping you. Yeah. That's, they're helping me a lot. These are guys who okay. did shit when they could never do it without him. Okay. So what that's was, context. What was uh, Brock's biggest season? <laughs> this one. Like the day oh, of yeah. oh, Guys. Oh, you're talking about Brock Tober. Aren't you guys supposed to Brock know Tober, fucking yeah, yeah. sports or something? Jay like, Cutler, he did do stuff right? for Jay Cutler. Look, this guy, I think Gaze knows what he's doing, and there's a lot of precedent for coaches that didn't win their first time around, that were young, and went to other places like... Oh, you're England, doing the Belichick thing. And the Carroll thing, and it's just a thing. And, like, I'm optimistic. I think Darnold's a big-time player. I think he's got the right mindset. I think he showed things, and I'm excited about it. What about the defense? Because I think the defense has some playmakers on it. Like, Jamal Adams, I think, is the top three safety in the league. Yeah, I mean, like, Jamal is obviously, he's a top three safety and a top three personality. I mean, there's a lot of young talent, right? Leonard Williams is really good. Darren Lee's good. Like, there's players. I mean, you got to put it together. Look, this, we're in the context of another Super Bowl where the fucking Patriots are here for the fucking ninth time. Yeah, I'm surprised you're even here. You hate the Patriots more than anyone in the world. That might be true. Yeah, you 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 push you shoved the ten year old. I have. For, in the name of your hatred for Tom Brady, tell that story real quick. Okay, can we break that one? I, down? I feel bad just saying it out loud. You should probably give some backstory. It's not super complicated. Like the Jets <laughs> I pushed the child. Like, yeah. a, a not, like a, some nine to twelve year old kid wearing a Brady jersey after a Jets Patriot game 13, 14 years ago was walking by me and I hip checked him into the fucking cage. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Did he do anything? Or? Super pumped about it. Yeah. Like, you know? I mean, no, he didn't do shit about his dad. Tried to act tough for a second until he saw the fucking <laughs> anger in my face. <laughs> As a Jets fan, the seething anger behind your eyes. 100%. Yes. So did the dad say anything? He was just like, let's just get away from he, here. He tried. He like turned. He's like, yo. And I'm like, yo. And then. He <laughs> <just kinda laughs> I wasn't expecting like, that. You yeah. one-upped his yo. Yeah. He wanted an apology. <laughs> yeah. was like, I, I was intentional. <laughs> Look, there's one place where I'm disproportionately the worst, worst version of myself, and that is at football games. No, that's we, okay. When you go to a game, is it, is it the alcohol that's flowing through you or are you just like, oh, that zero alcohol? Up. I'm that on tilt. Yeah. You know, like it's something I really give a shit about. I have no fucking control over it and I haven't been to a fucking Super Bowl yet. What yeah. Are, what are your thoughts on Fireman Ed? He's leaving, I love he's him. coming, he's going, he's no, leaving. he's great. I mean, like he's the best. He's a real fan. He's still at the games. But, you know, like sometimes when things get to an apex and you, like when you love football, like, the, like you want to focus on the football. And so it got to a place for him where, like, other fans and you know, even Jet fans were bothering him so much, so he just chilled it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let everybody else enjoy the game I, around him. I actually respect you saying, like, listen, this is the worst part. Of, like, the, my worst self is when I'm cheering for my team. Yes. I'm a normal human being outside of that. Because isn't that kind of, like, what football is? To, like, it's, a, it's an escape. It's an escape for all of us. It's huge. I mean, do you know how many people, like, their lives suck shit, but the only thing going for them is their football team is good? Yes. A lot. Most of us. I mean, that's, but that's real. Like, that's yeah. not, like, that's not razzing. Like, same thing with music or video games. Like, humans need escapism from their truth of reality. And so, yeah. like, 
this is my thing with like fandom. It's so fascinating. Like people walking around this town like they did something. Eighty mm-hmm. percent of Dave Portnoy's personality is the New England Patriots. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he, that is that's where all he gets all his self confidence. One hundred. Uh, like if you're like, hey, what is your hobby? He's like the Patriots. That's right. Because so they win. He yeah, because they he's win. A winner. Winner. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It is. He has become a winner in that, life. Well, that, he, that's why the, little fuckers are running around in Boston with fucking Steph Curry jerseys, right? Yeah. Like, because they're fucking lacking self esteem. They're a loser. And they <laughs> need to use fucking staff to feel better. Well, d- like, d- you're going after the 12 year old again. You're going after the 12 year old. pushing them down too. But yeah. it's true. If you're a fucking kid living in Boston right now wearing a fucking Kevin Durant jersey, you're a fucking loser. <laughs> and Dave's gone so far it, it's like, true. to the other side. In where... Boston especially, you have a decent team. Like, there's no fucking you have reason. Cool players, yeah, like, but, like yeah. what the fuck? Dave thinks yeah. that his winning personality actually makes the Patriots better too. Yeah. Like, he's gone all the way to the other side of it where now the Patriots are Dave Portnoy. They feed off of him. Yeah. Yeah. The core they, they, four. Yeah, yeah. They, take, they take their cues from him. Does he also think like he invented pizza? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, just one. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, he, he did kind of invent Yelp. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what do you got going on, Gary? I mean, are you, you're killing it every day, but do you have, like, any new big big deals? Are we going to bash some millennials or something? How about all these people skipping work right now? Yeah. yeah. It's Fuck. fucking bullshit. Actually. They're they not going to become successful. They might be actually, more entrepreneurs. Look, this is the worst version of myself. Like, if, if God willing, it happens to me, literally, I'm going to go from the AFC championship game and get on a fucking plane and go wherever the fucking Super Bowl is. And just be there for two weeks? two weeks? <laughs> I need to really settle in. <laughs> so I can't judge. Cause yeah. Literally, I'm, I'm going to be on I'm not, by the way, I'm not joking. Like, no, I know. Like, I like, know you're not. I see AJ in the back. Like, when we went to Indianapolis and Pittsburgh, that was the plan. We win this game, we're fucking going. Yeah. I, I need to really settle in. Yeah, one of those, one, one of those was, oh, no, that wasn't in the, one of, one of the Super Bowls, wasn't it Indianapolis after? No, I'm no. trying to think. Where were the Super Bowls? It would suck if it was like you had to go to Minnesota for two weeks. I think one was yeah. Florida, one was Arizona. Okay, so yeah. that would have been fine. I would go to fucking Minnesota minus 50 to just get in the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, it was uh, it was bad last year though, and it's worse this year. It's like minus forty, I think. Yeah. Like you can't walk outside. It says here on the sheet that you want to own the Jets. That's oh, bold. that's yeah, that's, he that's does. Bold. Um, what would your first thing that you would do be if you got the Jets? Um, probably start a marketing strategy to make sure nobody in the tri-state area was a fucking Giants fan. Okay. And how yeah. would you do that? Just kill them. Probably yeah. buy buy my way in. Yeah. I, I had the strategy of like when kids turn six, Gillette years ago had a great concept like where on your 18th birthday they would deliver you a razor and it was a great acquisition. So I've been thinking about when kids turn six to just send them a ton of fucking Jets jerseys. You and literally them buying them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. literally buy the yeah, brain yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's all it takes. Yeah. Yeah. You got them for life. 100%. It was Wait. like those kids' cigarettes back in the fucking mm-hmm. 60s. Yeah. Oh, sell cigarettes to kids? Yeah. I like yeah. that. That's I like this too. It worked. Mango so vape. Jets, <laughs> Jets brand <laughs> cigarettes. Yeah. Uh, how close are you, though? I, 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 I envision that, and I've been in your office, that you have like a big thermostat, and it's like <laughs> you just pencil in as you go up to like, now I can buy the Jets. How close are you to buying the Jets? Like, the, like you know, in the macro positioning that I put myself in. That, that word, those words that you just put together make no sense. Well, they yeah. make a ton of sense. Yeah, yeah. macro positioning. Right. Go ahead. In the, in the strategy that I've deployed, <laughs> if you want something in your terminology, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I feel closer than ever. Okay. You know, uh, financially, like, look, I need the Johnson brothers to pass away at the right time that okay. I have liquid. Like, there's Take so many cross. variables. Right. So Say no more. I yeah, hear you. you know. Yeah, I understand. Wait, 20, make some calls. Yeah. 20, yeah. 25 years. When you 25 look at years? 25 years? Okay. I'm free. Okay. When you look at someone's net worth online, how accurate are those things? They're not. Great not question, Ro. Oh, great question. Great question. So uh, your net worth, are you think you're above what they say online or below it? Um, probably slightly above. What does it say? Huh. You looking it up, PFT? 160. 160. 160. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Not to flex. Not to flex. Yo, uh... The NFL draft's coming up. Yes. Tyree Jackson, I yes. think he's going to be a stud. He's he's six seven. I mean, what's going to stop him from being like a, a, a top pick? a top Or like a top three round pick, I should say. So first of all, I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, my brother AJ and I started uh, Vayner Sports after an acquisition of Symmetry Sports. And so we're in the sports agency represent business. Tyree is one of our guys. We're obviously super excited about him, mainly because... One of the most interesting things of like getting even deeper in the football game and into the agent world is how much who they are as a human being matters, right? Like it's, it's, you look at, as fans, and we're all hardcore, anybody here or listening, you look at data, you look at, like you can get really deep, but 
just like running a business, like actually knowing the human being is such a variable and now I even have more scrutiny on GMs missing because watching the last three drafts, seeing who's missed and who's hit, so much of it is their competitive nature, are they a good human being, who are they hanging out with, like people overlook shit because they ran fast in Indy, which I know AJ thinks is more important than I do, but like the reality is with Tyree, he's a better human being than he is being a monster physical athlete. I think the reason he might not go first round as our, and his ambition would be, is because a lot of people think he's raw, which I understand, the wind up because he's a humongous dude, but I think he has an unbelievable shot to be a real player. He's tall. As a matter of fact. You gotta, you gotta create a website for him. That's mm-hmm. what you gotta do, drafttyreejackson.com. Yeah, we won't do that, but. Well, what it I, worked for Josh yeah, Allen. But I do, what I do, you know, I should probably share this. I had a ridiculous nightmare the other day. I had, I had this dream that the Patriots took him in round three. Mm. And it <laughs> yeah, what do you do? What do you yeah. do if that happens? That's like, gonna happen. You just drop him as it a client. Will. Wait, that's gonna happen to you, Gary. Of if course you, it's gonna yeah, happen eventually. Are you ready for it? I'm super prepared. You just drop. That doesn't him. sound like drop him. Him. that sounds like just a drop question. Him. No, no, I'm super prepared. That's actually a great way to hedge against your own rooting interests. It's like, well, the Patriots beat the Jets, but my guy had a career game. Yeah, I yeah, don't, I don't, wouldn't do that. I don't do that. No. That's why I don't play fantasy. Like, I don't understand real fans. Playing. You play real sports, like hip no. checking twelve year olds. No, I don't play real sports. <laughs> yeah, hey, he was not. <laughs> he was not. He was not at that. <laughs> Wait, so no, but seriously, what is going to happen if you get a big time first round pick and he goes to the New England Patriots? Are you go, are you gonna personally show up to the negotiation with you know Bill Belichick? I, and be like, I, won't I fucking hate because you. I'm not a certified agent. So okay, I just have ownership, so definitely not. Nor would for anybody. Look, I'm gonna struggle. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> real. That's real. That was yeah. that was real as real Genuine, as real can be. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, there's a lot of people in the organization of Vayner Sports. Right. And yeah, I mean, like, there's there's. I clearly believe there's a chance that I would stop interacting with the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently. If you look, look, honestly, like, and I think everybody understands this, like, and, and maybe sports isn't this for you, but there is a place where everybody, like, is, dis- like, what I, the reason I've been successful in business is I'm not emotional in business. Hmm. That's why people lose at business. They make emotional decisions. I make no emotional decisions, except fucking football. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. super emotional. That is very only <laughs> emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Can you teach us some cool business slang? Like office terms, <laughs> like I like to say, let's circle back on that. Yeah, that's good. Is that a good? Can one? I rate them? Because I don't even know. Okay. I, like I have my own. Sl- I don't okay. think I have. Hey, any sl- tell me what, Gary. Let's put a pin in that one. Good. That's like a B. What about okay. net net? Like Love the net a. net of this. A. A. Erica drops a lot of net nets yeah. on us. So. Erica's a fucking G. Yeah. yeah. The net net thing. In general, oh, okay, but yeah, net yeah. net is a super A term. I don't. Okay. I still don't know what it means. It means net net. It means right. Net, net. That's uh, that, uh, it means yeah. fucking nothing. Like it means it. Uh, like let's cir- yeah circle back. Are you confused when somebody says net net? No, I just like it means the bottom fucking line. Dick. I didn't. Why don't you just say the bottom fucking line? Well, because net net means <laughs> it, too. it sounds cooler too. <laughs> net net sounds cool. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. so. I don't know. It, uh, all the buzzwords for office. Dude, you live on buzzwords. No, I not the office buzzwords. The foundation of this whole fucking organization is that, buzzwords. Yeah, but not office buzzwords. <laughs> Get it. That's like let's we take say, this we say banana land and electric yeah. factory yeah. every, every word instead of <laughs> right. doing deep dives and getting a twenty thousand foot over. Are you guys making some stuff happen down here? Oh yeah, we're making stuff happen. Yeah. You see this? You was see that this? like a business right. talk thing? Yeah, well, yeah no, that, stuff happen. that was man to man right there. Yeah. That was re- is real. Are you a Raiders yeah. fan? No. Just, just like the hat. Cool hat. Like I mean, hat. it's a cool ass hat. Yeah. See, that's the other emotional thing I have with sports. Like, just don't understand why somebody would wear a fucking. Thing with of somebody they don't because like. it's cool because it's cool. Yeah. I get it. You that means you like cool more than the sport. You no, it means I get that. Your right. first order of business for the Jets should be changing their colors to black and silver. Mm-hmm. Definitely not. That would be cool. Nope. Because the green and the white kind of yeah. ugly. Yeah, I agree. The Celtics it's suck shit, Dick. <laughs> those are different, right? <laughs> In fact, tell Hank. Tell Hank the Celtics cool. suck shit, Dick. Hank, Hank will be very upset. Celtics <laughs> green is much better than Jets green. Respect. Yeah. Uh, so, Believe Gary, I, yes. have a, I have a very important question. Why Please. have I not be invited back to uh, play basketball with you? Uh, first of all, I haven't played since I st- we played together. No, really? Yeah, I've just been so MIA traveling. AJ, why why is this dude Tyler? Why is he not getting invited back? Oh, Tyler's here. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I have actually gotten one invite back. Tyler, is he just not on the? Is he not on the? He's not on. Yeah, the, I did get the one invite back. Lying. Tyler, there's a mic here. Don't fucking duck it. But Gary V clearly doesn't want me back. We invited you back. Yeah, once. 
and I that's climbed. one more time you than I climbed. climbed. Yeah, all right. So that's, that's back fine. on you. Yeah, that yeah. One didn't I'm work. just that didn't work. I'm just remembering that I did get invited back. You know that I took the Instagram <laughs> story of that game, yes. and that was the first time I had an interaction with Kevin Durant. I know he said, said that. I get these sorry ass, ass uh, motherfuckers off the court. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's big. Any connection? Is yeah. Take luck. Take I was like, hey, I got him. KD's not wrong. No, KD was not wrong. It's an ugly game. It was ugly. It's an ugly game. It was six in the morning. But we were fucking competitive. Yes, we wanted it. Put your heart out on the. The uh, court. Did you take that personally when Kevin Durant came a big cap calling all of you guys scrubs? No, because I think that it was a it was a hot take that was right. Yeah, it was. Probably, <laughs> it was probably exactly right. All right, Gary, you yes. got to go. I okay. just got word in my ear. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Good luck with buying Thank the Jets. You. Thank you, bro. We'll help you. Thank we'll be your marketing team. We'll be your enjoy the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Marketing team. Yeah, we'll be your marketing team. Thank Good to meet you. Man. We will. Real pleasure. Silver Thank and you. black. Appreciate it. All right, uh, the 